How long would it take us to go to Mercury? It's a question that has long fascinated space enthusiasts and scientists alike. Mercury is the first planet in our solar system. However, it is also a challenging destination due to its extreme temperatures and lack of atmosphere. So how long would it take us to reach this challenging destination? Join us as we explore the potential time it would take for a spacecraft to reach Mercury and unlock its secrets. The smallest planet of the solar system is a very unique planet and holds answers to a lot of questions about our solar system and its evolution. Thus, exploration of Mercury is important for a number of reasons. As the closest planet to the Sun, it is a unique celestial body that can provide valuable insights into the early history of our solar system. One of the key reasons for exploring Mercury is to learn more about its surface and atmosphere. Despite being the smallest planet in our solar system, Mercury has a unique surface that is heavily cratered and has evidence of past volcanic activity. Studying this surface can provide valuable information on the early history of our solar system and the processes that shaped it. Another reason for exploring Mercury is to study its magnetic field. Despite its small size, it has a surprisingly strong magnetic field that is similar in strength to Earth's. This magnetic field is thought to be generated by the planet's core, which is composed of molten iron. Studying this magnetic field can provide valuable insights into the structure and composition of the planet's interior. Exploring Mercury is also important for understanding its potential for hosting life. While the surface conditions on Mercury are extreme, there is evidence to suggest that the planet may have had liquid water on its surface in the past. If this is the case, it's possible that conditions on the planet may have been suitable for the emergence of life. Studying the potential for life on Mercury can provide valuable insights into the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Overall, exploration of Mercury is important for understanding the early history of our solar system, the processes that shaped it, and the potential for life on other planets. By studying this fascinating planet, we can continue to unlock the mysteries of our universe and expand our knowledge of the cosmos. In order to continue the exploration, we need to reach the planet first. To answer the question of how long it would take us to go to Mercury, we need to consider a lot of factors like speed, distance, propulsion systems, etc. The discussions that we will make would be based upon the current level of technology that humanity possesses. The first factor to consider would be the speed at which we would be traveling. The fastest spacecraft ever launched was the Parker Solar Probe, which reached speeds of up to 430,000 kilometers per hour. However, even at this speed, it would still take us over four months to reach Mercury. And that is the case at the fastest speeds and considering Mercury is closest to us. How far is it from Earth usually? Let's talk about that first. We all know planets follow an elliptical orbit. All the planets follow their orbits, and because of this type, distances between them might vary. They might be closest at a certain point of time, and they might be farthest too. So there is no one distance between Earth and Mercury. Mercury's closest approach to Earth is 28.6 million miles, while its greatest distance from Earth is 43.4 million miles. Mercury's eccentric orbit causes this wide difference between the nearest and furthest distances. It has the most eccentric orbit in our solar system, with an eccentricity of 0.21. With an eccentricity of 0.06, Venus has the least eccentric orbit. There are instances when Mercury is behind the Sun, resulting in a Mercury, Sun and Earth alignment. The Sun will be in between Earth and Mercury. Mercury is now about 138 million kilometers from the Earth. The furthest it can get is 222 million kilometers. Mercury's closest approach to Earth happens when both planets are on the same side of the Sun, a phenomenon known as inferior conjunction. Mercury is now positioned between our Sun and Earth, shortening the distance between the two planets to about 28.6 million miles or 46 million kilometers. There have been several previous missions that have been sent to the first planet in our solar system. 
While it may take us several months to reach Mercury using current technology, there have been several previous missions that have been sent to the planet. The first mission to Mercury was the Mariner 10 spacecraft, which was launched by NASA in 1973. The Mariner 10 mission took a total of six months to reach the first planet, with the spacecraft using a gravitational slingshot with Venus to accelerate its journey. Once it reached Mercury, the spacecraft conducted several flybys of the planet, gathering data on its surface and atmosphere. Another mission to Mercury was the Messenger spacecraft, which was launched by NASA in 2004. This mission took a total of six and a half years to reach Mercury, with the spacecraft using multiple gravitational slingshots with Earth and Venus to accelerate its journey. Once it reached Mercury, the Messenger spacecraft entered into orbit around the planet, conducting detailed studies of its surface and atmosphere. This mission lasted for over four years before the spacecraft ran out of fuel and crashed into the planet's surface. More recently, the Bepi Colombo mission was launched by the European Space Agency and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency in 2018. This mission is currently on its way to Mercury with an expected arrival date in 2025. The spacecraft is using a combination of solar electric propulsion and gravitational slingshots with Earth, Venus, and Mercury itself to reach its destination. Overall, previous missions to Mercury have taken several months to several years to reach the planet, depending on factors like route and technology used. These missions have provided valuable information on the planet's surface and atmosphere, and have laid the groundwork for future missions to explore this challenging destination. But if you think carefully, the previous missions and the time taken in them differs drastically. Although Earth is 10 times closer to Mercury than Jupiter, missions to both planets can take roughly the same length of time to reach their scientific orbits. Why is this the case? NASA's Mariner 10 spacecraft took only 147 days to reach the innermost planet of the solar system in the 1970s. However, more recent missions, like as NASA's Messenger in the late 2000s and the European-Japanese Bepi Colombo launched in 2018, will take years to reach Mercury. The reason for this is that they are not on the same route. Messenger and Bepi Colombo were meant to enter orbit around the planet and perform more extensive scientific research over a longer period of time, whereas Mariner 10 conducted three flybys of Mercury while in orbit around the Sun offering our first up-close glimpse of its surface. To enter orbit around Mercury, the spacecraft must move slowly enough relative to the planet's velocity to be trapped by its gravity. They must slow down from their original speed, which is rather challenging in the vacuum of space. In order to reduce the time taken by a spacecraft to reach Mercury, we can use a method called gravitational slingshot. This involves using the gravitational pull of another planet such as Earth or Venus to accelerate the spacecraft and reduce the time it takes to reach its destination. For example, if we were to use a gravitational slingshot with Earth, it would take us just over two months to reach Mercury. However, this method also has its drawbacks, as the spacecraft would need to be carefully maneuvered to avoid colliding with the planet it's using for the slingshot. Another factor to consider is the time it would take for the spacecraft to land on the surface of Mercury. Unlike Earth, Mercury has no atmosphere, which means that the spacecraft would need to use its own propulsion systems to slow down and land on the planet's surface. This could add additional time to the overall journey. Once we've landed on the surface of Mercury, we would need to consider the time it would take to conduct any scientific experiments or research on the planet. Due to the extreme temperatures on Mercury, any missions would need to be carefully planned and carried out quickly to avoid damaging the spacecraft or the equipment on board. Overall, the time it would take us to go to Mercury would depend on a variety of factors, including the speed of the spacecraft, the use of gravitational slingshots, and the time needed for landing and conducting experiments on the planet's surface. However, even with the fastest spacecraft and the most efficient route, it would still take us several months to reach Mercury and carry out any necessary research. So what do you think about going to Mercury? When will humanity try a manned mission there? Any estimates? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and share the video with your friends.